Welcome back, legends, to Bud Fellas. A quick reminder before we begin this content is strictly educational for viewers over 18 and not an encouragement to break any laws. In the UK, cannabis cultivation remains illegal without a license. What we're doing here is learning plant science and breaking it down in a way that anyone can understand. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the three pillars of plant health, light, water and nutrients. If you get these three factors right, you set the foundation for healthy growth. If you get them wrong, you'll face issues like yellowing leaves, stunted growth or weak plants. By the end of this video, you'll know why light is energy, why water is balance and why nutrients are food. Plants don't eat food like we do. They make their own energy through photosynthesis. Light is the trigger for this process. For cannabis and many other plants, light intensity and duration play a huge role in development. Beginners often underestimate just how much light a plant needs, or they use the wrong type. Too little light and plants stretch, becoming tall and weak. Too much and they can suffer light burn. Leaves turn pale, curl or develop scorched patches. It's also worth noting how light cycles affect the plant. In nature, long summer days keep a plant in vegetative growth, while shorter autumn days signal flowering. This rhythm is deeply ingrained in the species. For educational purposes, think of cannabis like a solar-powered factory. No sunlight, no energy. Water is essential, but balance is everything. Overwatering is probably the number one mistake beginners make. Roots need oxygen as much as they need moisture. When soil stays soaked, oxygen is pushed out and roots begin to suffocate and rot. The opposite problem is underwatering, where plants wilt, leaves droop and growth stalls. The key idea is that water is a carrier. It delivers nutrients into the plant, moves sugars around and helps with temperature regulation through transpiration. A good analogy is to think of water like the bloodstream of the plant too little, and the system shuts down, too much and it drowns. Beginners should remember that different growth stages demand different amounts of water and environmental factors like temperature and humidity also play a role. Like us, plants need a balanced diet. For cannabis, nutrients are grouped into macronutrients and micronutrients. The big three macronutrients are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Each one has a role. Nitrogen drives leafy green growth. Phosphorus supports root development and flowering. Potassium strengthens the plant's overall health and resilience. Micronutrients, though required in smaller amounts, are just as important. Elements like calcium, magnesium and iron help with processes like enzyme function and chlorophyll production. Beginners often run into issues when they overfeed or underfeed. For example, too much nitrogen during flowering can cause leafy buds, while too little can lead to yellowing leaves. Placing a plant by a window and thinking it gets enough light. Indoor windows rarely provide the right intensity. Watering on a strict schedule rather than checking the soil first. Some days, a plant may need more, some less using the wrong type of nutrients at the wrong stage. Feeding a seedling full-strength fertiliser, for example, can overwhelm it. Light, water and nutrients are interconnected. Strong light drives photosynthesis, which increases the plant's demand for water and nutrients. Too much water dilutes oxygen in the roots, which limits nutrient uptake. An imbalance in one area creates problems in another. This is why growers talk about balance so much. It's like juggling three balls at once. Drop one and the whole system struggles. Light shuns energy. Water shun balance. Nutrients shuns food. These three pillars form the foundation of plant health. Beginners who focus on these basics will avoid many of the common pitfalls. That's episode three, Legends. Light, water and nutrients explained simply. In the next episode, we'll talk about beginner mistakes that kill plants. 
overwatering, poor environments, rushing the process, and more. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. Until next time, this has been Budfellas, helping you understand the plant better every episode.